Okay guys, so in this video, I will talk about the strain energy due to torsion. Okay, so in the last video, I think you have understood the problem related to your torsion. So let's dive into today's topic. Okay, so before that, let me clean the blackboard. Okay, so today's topic is strain energy due to torsion. Okay. So previously, if you have watched my videos, in that case, you know that strain energy, we have derived the equation for strain energy due to tension. And in that case, it was total strain energy is equal to V square by L divided by 2AE, okay. So in that case, L is the length of the bar, P is the load, okay, and A was the cross-sectional area and E was modulus of elasticity, okay. And after completing this video, we will compare this equation or the total strain energy due to your tension or compression with the total strain energy uh, for torsion, okay. So, let us start. So, first draw a object like this, okay. And let us uh, name it, let us say this is A, B, C, D, okay. Next task is you have to apply some stress, see your stress and this is nothing but coming from torsion, okay. So, this is the shear stress acting and these are complementary shear stress, okay. So, if we fix a B in that case due to this shear stress it will deform and the deformation shape looks something like this ok like this and now it has become C dashed it has become D dashed ok and let us make some dimension let us say this is dx and the height is dy okay and the width or the depth is let's say this is dz okay in this direction this is dz okay so the volume of this element is simply dx time dy time dz any problem no okay now what is the shearing strain here Tell me quick, this is the shearing strain and that is denoted by angle gamma, okay. So, if this is gamma and this height is dy, what is this dis displacement? Simply gamma times dy, okay. This is the displacement. Now, initially, initially when you have started to apply this stress, the displacement was 0 and finally it has become gamma times dy okay so if i ask you what is the total work done by this shear stress so the first we have to calculate the force and the force is tau times the area of this stress okay what is the area simply dx time dz this is the force and what means or the energy means force into displacement what is the displacement initially the displacement was 0 then it has become gamma times dy so the average displacement is this one so the work done here or the total energy stored here i can write the total energy u stored here is tau times dx dz times gamma times dy by 2 okay or tau times or stress time gamma or strain divided by 2 times dx dy dz that's it this is the total strain energy 
due to the torsion okay so now if i ask you what is the unit uh, strain energy per unit volume in that case this is denoted by small u and this is nothing but capital u or the total strain energy divided by the volume of the mat material or element okay and here the volume is this one okay so simply you are getting your strain energy per unit volume as stress time strain divided by 2 so simple so now you have two formula that is stress is nothing shear stress is nothing but g times strain okay so if you want to express small u or the strain energy per unit volume in terms of stress you can rewrite this equation one with stress time replace gamma so from this equation gamma is coming as tau by g so tau by g times 2 or stress square by 2g okay or if you would like to express u in terms of gamma okay in that case simply it is coming as from this equation gamma is tau by g so here tau square okay sorry i have to replace tau with gamma so it is coming as g times gamma square by 2 both equations are valid okay and this is strain energy due to torsion per unit volume okay now we have a task okay let's say we have uh, a shaft okay we have a shaft like this uh, this is our shaft okay and it has radius that is capital r this is the sept diameter and the length of the sept is let's say this is l okay this is l the length of the sept and this is subjected to a torsion okay about its axis this is the axis of the sept okay and it is subjected to torsion t now what is the total strain energy stored in this sept due to this torsion okay so for that what we have to do we will consider first a very small tube like this at a distance of smaller from the center okay so this radius is smaller and the width or the thickness of this tube is dr and this tube is like this okay so let's say the maximum stress that can be applied over this uh, sept is tau max tau max and this is the stress at surface okay and in the, in that case you can say that uh, the unit strain energy that is small u is tau max square divided by 2g okay we have derived this from this equation okay and also you know that your shear stress in any circular section okay if this is the circle and the shear stress varies linearly like this okay so if here your stress is tau max at a distance of r what is the stress at a distance of small r okay here 
tau is nothing but tau max time small r divided by capital R. Okay, so for this tube here, what is the shear stress acting? Yes, this is tau max time r smaller of course smaller divided by r okay so let me again clean this one so what is the unit strain energy this u u is here tau max square times small r square divided by capital r square times 1 by 2 g this is the unit strain energy okay so if we have to find the total strain energy for this tube only okay what we have to do we have to simply multiply your strain energy per unit volume that is small u times the volume of this tube that is here 2 pi r times dr times length this is the volume okay so now let me clean this one again okay so now you are getting your strain energy total strain energy due to this tube only as tau max square times small r square divided by capital R square 2g okay times the volume okay this one that is 2 pi r times dr times l okay so here you can see that if we take integration at both side from radius 0 to capital R we will get the total strain energy for this whole sapped okay so this is 0 to capital R and it will give you tau max square divided by capital R square into 2g into 2 pi r sorry r is variable so keep it into l and now integrate from 0 to r of your r cube times dr okay so if you simply integrate this one you will get uh, this is equals with tau max square divided by 2g times 2 pi l times r to the power 4 okay divided by 4 and here it was r square simple 12th standard mathematics no engineering okay and also one more thing if you have forgotten in that case you know that stress okay or tau max is nothing but applied torsion t times radius r divided by the polar moment inertia that is j okay so replace this tau max here and you are getting t square times r square divided by capital j square okay and also a uh, j can be written as pi divided by 32 times r divided by 2 times 4 okay and if you uh, replace all these things also replace j here okay replace j with this formula you will get t square r divided by 2 j g okay sorry 
uh, instead of R, this will be L. Okay, so this is the final formula for total strain energy due to your torsion. Okay, now for your ready reference, you can check the similarity between these two formula. Okay, that's it.